welcome to another Sunday setup. I'm your host, Vel, combined with my guy, Jay. What's going on, people? We hope you're all well. If you have already, please, of course, be sure to subscribe and like our content on YouTube. The more likes we receive, the more we are able to reach other people within the YouTube world to help them with their trading. If you guys are already involved in the Lit Capital community, then of course we know you've had a great week, catching over 840 pips last week, so it's been a really good one. We look to have an even better week this week, but of course if you haven't already heard of Lit Capital, be sure to head over to litcapital.co.uk, sign up to our website for free to get a beginner's guide to Forex, which will also, which will also provide you with an ebook, which is very, very, very 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 good <laughs> if you are someone who's new into the world but if you are a trader who would like to take your trading to the next level then heading over to our courses to find out what we provide and to get a bit more information in regards to what institutional concepts are and of course what we're providing then i definitely would encourage you guys to have a look at our courses and reach out to us so that you can find out more with that being said, I'm going to take you through the charts this week. We start by looking at Euro NZD, a pair that I did hold my hands up and tell you guys that I was sorry. Um, we had a perfect entry for this pair. Um, unfortunately, um, I, was, I was not available to, to check my screen today um, due to family, family, um, you know, family concerns. And we missed a really nice entry here. Okay, this was probably over 200 pips, excuse me, over 185 pips. If I get the ruler out, let's see if I'm chatting rubbish or if I'm correct. Look at that, well over 200 pips. Okay, so I stand corrected, okay? Um, we can see here that this move was a real nice push from a mitigation zone. It filled the imbalance. It also cleared the highs above. Now, when we look at the higher time frames, because we can't ignore the higher time frames, we can see that the structure hasn't been broken for the past one, two, three, three lows we've seen that the structure hasn't been broken each time. Now, we can see, well, even so, sorry, excuse me, if we look at these lows here, we can see that the lows haven't really been broken. So from that being said, we do have to anticipate a move to the downside sometime soon. There is a lot of imbalance beneath. But with that being said, at the moment, the euro does seem to be quite bullish. And with the corona outbreak, the coronavirus outbreak, excuse me, the, the more we hear about this coronavirus, the weaker the Aussie, the yen, and the Kiwi will become. So this does give an advantage for pairs like the euro to gain some leeway. Um, so it does mean we can expect to see prices move higher. But from that being said, we've already seen the peak of this move. We've had the 300 move to the upside. Now we are looking for price to come down. Now, you know, if I, without really going too deep into this, because guys, we will provide you with a, an official chart set up in the Discord channel. So be sure to click the link below so you can receive it. But if we're just having a look at this chart from a structural perspective, we can see around here, if price came around here, if not lower, this would be a perfect perfect chance to catch an entry for the buy but we cannot ignore what price action will be showing us so at the moment because markets are not open we can't give you guys a direct price as to where we would enter we have to see how the market plays out and of course what news um what news releases can also affect um what's happening within the charts we've got imbalances beneath and of course we've got equal lows beneath as well as above we've got imbalance and equal highs above so we really need to see what happens the move to me does look like it's peaked it does need to come down a bit before it looks to go higher so let's see what happens i'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with AUDJPY, my other pair, AJ, shout out Anthony Joshua, we are now looking, of course, to see if we can move high with this pair. If you guys are in the Discord channel, it's been real lit, excuse the pun, but we have seen and we was able to give you this move off of the four-hour chart. Um, we gave you this trade entry around here, to be precise, entry was right here, and we was able to catch 115 pips moving upwards, okay? It cleared the equal highs, and now prices come back down, and before prices come back down, what we have seen, okay, is a slow movement to the downside and eventually turn around, which looks like can be from a potential mitigation zone. However, 
with the coronavirus pandemic, we can expect to see price come lower, at least to clear these equal highs before it looks to go higher. But from a daily perspective, we've seen this is a really nice reaction. We had a reaction around the 80%, price came back up, came back down around the 75% and 70% before coming back to the 62 and pushing off. So we can't really expect to see price <clears throat> come back down into a discounted zone. I mean, if it doesn't come back down into a discounted zone for the buy, then, you know, it's, it's not something we should cry about because we've been able to capitalize on this and price has been around the discounted zone for quite some time. So we really want to see what happens. Maybe price comes down and it looks to, 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 break, to break the structure, which will then form a sell. But of course, we have to keep you guys updated as and when we can. So be sure to keep up to date with the Discord channel. That's me, your boy, Big Avell. Over and out. Over to you, Jay. Appreciate you, Vel. <laughs> You're funny, man. Appreciate yeah. you, bro. Uh, welcome, guys, man. I hope you guys have had a, a successful trading week, uh, month so far. Uh, we're looking to see out the, the rest of the month strong. So um, I'm going to go over the rest of the pairs that I'm personally looking at, starting with Euro USD. And um, I want to head over to the monthly Euro USD chart, which is um, quite something just in regards to uh, what's actually happening. So, um, you know, we are seeing this last down candle before we did get this move up, you know, which pushed and um, broke the structure on the monthly. So with price coming back down, it's now tagged this last candle and filled a weekly imbalance, which was left years ago. So that's quite significant to what we are now seeing uh, with the price and with the price now we are getting four hour bullish momentum so um because the monthly point of interest has been hit i do believe we can get some upside movement so with that being said uh four hour structures broke to bullish um so i am now hoping that we can now see a retest in the the opening um monday morning london session maybe we get an entry uh back up into higher areas because as you can see you know we have been on quite the downtrend uh we do have higher targets available so hoping that we can fill some of the higher price uh imbalances as such as you can see it's been very bearish for a very long time um so all of these higher prices have become targets in my opinion and playing off of that last monthly candle um that we are just waiting for confirmation of uh, price reversing. So four hour for me is the first confirmation. So we do get a retest of what we play in it. So be sure to look out for that in the Discord where we will be updating throughout the week. So moving on to US oil. Did give out this trade. Um, shout out to those who were in the Discord and caught this with me. Um, we was able to capitalize on 300 pips. I actually cashed out on 250 pips, um, but no biggie. Hopefully, we can actually get a push further down and then actually get a re-entry. As overall, we do have uh, a lot of upside movement. So if we go on the daily chart, as you can see here, I am hoping for price to come to this area. Uh, we are, in my opinion, in the start of a counter trend in order to make its way up higher. Um, and if we then move back to the four hour chart, we can see where we are trying to target in order to get the cell available to us. So um, when you guys, I'm not sure if you guys remember the drone strike, this is the outcome of that. So I do believe they need to come back up and mitigate out of these areas and also continue the price lower. So we are far away from that. So buyers are necessary in, in my regards to uh, market structure as we are nowhere near our uh, kill zone areas we're not even by the 50 percent zone so we can definitely ride this counter trend higher um but yeah be sure to look out in the discord for this setup also so just going to leave you guys with those two um be sure to like and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already where you know all of our outlooks and stuff they go on there exclusively uh, be sure to sign up to our Discord as well if you haven't, and our website, get our free educational uh, content on there by signing up for free. And remember, every day is money day.